<laughs> HBO's The Wire follows the drug trade of Baltimore, Maryland, featuring classic characters like Avon Barksdale, Stringer Bell, Jimmy McNulty, Bubbles, and The Bunk. While ostensibly a cops and gangsters drama, focusing equally on both sides of the law, each season of The Wire uniquely adds a facet of the Baltimore systems to its repertoire. The second season, for example, looks at the ports of Baltimore, how drugs enter the city and why blue-collar workers turn to a life of crime. The fourth season, widely considered the best, tackles the broken schooling system, placing a magnifying glass on innocent children destined to grow up to become drug dealers and corner boys. The final season of the show looked at the print news media and its role in covering the stories on the street level. And with all these additions, the show is still able to maintain a core collection of recurring characters. Now, the show ran for five seasons, looking at the drug trade, the ports, the bureaucracies, schools, and finally the media. Every season of the show was fantastic. Sure, some don't think highly of season two or maybe season five, but I honestly believe collectively, The Wire is the best show ever made, at least from what I've seen. And an interesting hypothetical question arises after you've finished watching the show, which is what I wanted to discuss today, and that is, what if The Wire went on for another season? What would it have been about? Obviously, it would have involved the cops and the drug scene, but which facet of Baltimore life would the show add to its collection? I would have loved it if The Wire continued past season 5. There's so many characters that can be picked up again. Ziggy, Gus, Carver, Clay Davis, the Greeks. I mean, if you made it now, you could even do something with D'Angelo's son, who'd be old enough to be in the game. The lives of established characters, especially the kids, could be further explored. An angry, hurt Randy becoming Bodie, and a plot to confirm he is Cheese's son. Naaman perhaps becoming Clay Davis? What happened to Marlow? What is McNulty doing? Did he settle down, or did he become a private investigator or some kind of freelance detective? I mean, I don't want anyone to come along now and add a new season. It's time to leave well enough alone. But at the time, as good as The Wire was, there was still so much more to give. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for what we got. In fact, I'm well aware that the show was actually cancelled, with The Wire's creator David Simon fighting tooth and nail to continue his show past season 3. So it was difficult enough for the showmakers to give us five seasons. But let's say there was a sixth. What could it? or should it have been about. In fact, there were actually plans for a sixth season. But before we discuss and speculate, it's worth mentioning alternative wire projects that were talked about, but never got off the ground. Wendell Pierce, who played Bunk, had an idea for a prequel movie covering the rise of Avon Barksdale and Stringer Bell. He is quoted as saying, I actually convinced David to do a movie to do the prequel of The Wire, of how Stringer and Barksdale got together and took over the towers from another family. And the head of that other family was going to be Samuel Jackson, and I really had convinced him. And then we did a round table somewhere, and Richard Price, I'll never forget, said, if David does a movie of the fucking Wire, I'll disown him. And David was like, yeah, you're right. We were doing a New York Times round table, and I was like, damn, thank you, Mr. Price, Mr. Clockers who his book was made into a movie. Oh, I was so mad. So that's a prequel movie that was proposed. And I know a lot of Wire fans would have really liked a prequel series or movie showing how the Barksdales rose in prominence and took the towers. Me though, shit. When someone says the word prequel to me, I get flashbacks of the many saints of Newark, Prometheus, The Hobbit, the Star Wars movies, and so on and so forth. Interestingly, David Simon proposed a sister series to The Wire, a spin-off, that was going to be called The Hall or something, leaning more into the political side of The Wire, characters like Carchetti and Nerisse. That would have been cool, I think, in the hands of Simon, but he failed to convince HBO, who weren't even sold on the popularity of The Wire, let alone a spin-off of The Wire. I guess it's worth mentioning We Own This City, a Simon show he made a few years ago about police corruption in Baltimore. It is a different beast to The Wire, it's unfair to compare the two, but it may just scratch your wire itch. Now, the actual plan for another season of The Wire was about immigration. 
Simon has said that another season of The Wire would have looked at Hispanic gangs coming into Baltimore, focusing on them and how they affected the city. Now, the final season of the show was always going to be the story in season 5, because Simon's plan was for the show to end with the print media storyline. So this season would have not been season 6, it would have been season 5, and the season 5 we got would have been season 6. And I have read that the idea was pitched between season 3 and 4. Season 5 may have not been the best season, but it was a great ending to the show and brought things full circle. It really drove home that the cynical cycles of The Wire would continue. This plan was not a success, however. They never went through with it, and Simon has stated that the reason was that he and his team didn't know enough about Hispanic immigration into Baltimore, and it would have taken months and months of research, something both he and HBO didn't think was worth the effort. It's not the first thing that comes to my mind for a new season of The Wire, but it would have been interesting to tackle gangs of other races. If you remember, Omar had Latino gang members with him, Maybe the show would have tackled immigration through them. Maybe they'd have sought revenge for him or something and we go from there. According to author Alan Seppenwall, who has interviewed Simon, he says this season would look at illegal immigration and tell the story of some undocumented workers who've come to Baltimore after most real work has already started to leave the city. Given that the fourth season renewal was iffy at best, Simon says he didn't think the best idea would be to tell the head of HBO that he wanted to build a season around unknown Mexican actors. Initially, when I heard about this idea, I was unimpressed, but the more I think about it, the more cool it sounds. In some ways, it could mirror season two, with the dock workers slowly becoming involved in crime, and also the girls on the boat. You hear stories of illegal immigrants moving to the States through consultants who promise them work to feed their families but who turn out to be involved in crime, and the immigrants, already swamped in poverty, become in debt to the consultants and have to work via illegal methods. Perhaps Simon had stuff like this in mind. On a semi-serious idea I had for a spin-off show was one where we focus on Brother Muzon, as I mentioned in my video on his mysterious backstory. Sounds weird, I know, but think about it. It would be a very different show, a different feel, because he's based in New York and he'll have loads of different adventures and interactions with NY gangsters. The show would focus on that side of the underworld, perhaps the Nation of Islam among other things, and guys like Avon Barksdale could have cameos here and there, with Avon coming up to New York for his connect and maybe meeting Brother for the first time. A comparison would be Better Call Saul's relationship to Breaking Bad. Better Call Brother, I guess. But on to more serious ideas, and the one idea I always had for another season of The Wire, the one thing that it actually felt like The Wire was leading up to, and in some ways I feel like we missed out as a result, was the prison system. There's so much that could be done with this. We saw glimpses here and there, mainly in season 2, but you could explore the broken and corrupt prison system, the practically non-existent emphasis on rehabilitation, the politics behind for-profit prisons, the idea that they are a form of modern legal slavery, how guards on low pay become incentivized to take bribes, how drugs are smuggled in, how prisons do not benefit inmates and are fundamentally flawed, and convicts, as previously explored with Cutty, find it very difficult to readjust to life on the outside. You could look at how gangs are established in prisons and how hierarchies manifest. Maybe Ziggy becomes someone's bitch. It is another layer to the game, and some of these statistics relating to American prisons regarding incarceration percentage versus population compared to the rest of the world, sentence lengths of different races, suicides and rapes are stunning and could make for a gripping drama at the hands of David Simon and co. Prison seemed like an organic and natural evolution to the storylines of the streets of Baltimore. Heck, half of the fan favourite characters are in prison. Avon, Weebay, Chris Partlow. We could explore the relationships and dynamics between these characters. Were Avon and Weebay still on good terms? What would Avon make of Chris? We could follow Avon around in jail as he runs things from the inside, still a kingpin of sorts. Prison seems like it is an integral part of the system that The Wire never managed to cover in depth. We saw how the players entered the game as children in Season 4, but not how many of them ended the game, i.e. in prison. Another aspect of the city's systems The Wire could have tackled was healthcare, hospitals and the housing department. 
We never really saw much of the hospitals, how doctors and nurses have to deal with gang violence, the stress involved there and how doctors would have to make decisions based on politics and funding behind the scenes as well as the health of their patients. Perhaps this storyline could be explored through Cutty's girlfriend in season 4, who he met while she was working at a hospital. There's a lot that can be done here. In fact, here in the UK, our National Health Service, funded by the taxpayer, has been absolutely gutted by the government and is on the brink of collapse. And it is thought that the NHS will be portioned off and sold off to private companies so that the taxpayer will now have to pay huge costs for medical care. And these private companies just happen to be friends of the government. That could literally be a storyline straight out of the wire. But healthcare would also keep the spotlight, like with season 5, on the homeless, on junkies, and the housing storyline could be a follow-up to the vacants of season 4 and 5. Maybe Scott Templeton gets outed as a liar and falls from grace, becoming homeless, and us seeing what life is truly like for the homeless through him, and he gets something of a redemption arc. Maybe we even see Poot again, visiting a clinic because his cock is leaking. Lawyers have always been in and out of the wire. Maybe another season of the show could have taken a closer look at them, the political games played in the judiciary system, how favours are done between lawyers, how getting a decent judge on a good day can have a huge impact on your sentence, how being rich can keep you out of jail. There's so much potential here, as fans of Better Call Saul will know, a show with so much focus on law firms. And Daniels and Rhonda ended season 5 as a lawyer and judge respectively, so we have our in there. And this storyline could easily link with the prison storyline. We'd see more of Levy, we could have a storyline of Randy trying to prove he is Cheese's son in court so he can get some of Prop Joe's inheritance and escape the group houses, and the system failing him yet again. One idea I've heard is for the show to cover gun trafficking. If I remember correctly, this idea was proposed by Jamie Hector, the actor who played Marlowe. The idea is basically, how did these weapons make it onto the streets? A bit like how they explored the way the drugs made it onto the streets in season 2. Perhaps the showrunners could even dissect the Second Amendment, look at the pros and cons of carrying weapons, like the way they tested out the pros and cons of a controlled drug environment with Hamsterdam in season 3. Another thing they could have looked at was internal affairs and police brutality. Maybe bring in a new principal character who was part of internal affairs. Through this guy, we would see the difference between IA and the rest of the police force. Perhaps we could have a storyline where a black guy gets beaten up so bad in interrogation, which has happened plenty of times on the wire, but this time the guy dies, and the situation is investigated by internal affairs, leading to a showcase of the tribalism within the police force as everyone looks to protect their own. The death could also spark a whole political debate, riots and protests in the streets, and the mayor trying to mitigate the issue and desperately trying to stay in everyone's good books. This storyline would further the race divide. Maybe we'd see one or two black officers getting uncomfortable, especially with the new commissioner, Valchek, being white. And as we've seen previously, he doesn't really seem to care much when it comes to racial issues. Though I suppose this was covered in some way in We Own This City. And the whole police brutality and subsequent outrage was done on a lesser level when Herc stops the black minister. One idea could be looking at young kids, maybe McNulty's, who grew up to become police officers themselves. This is a pretty vague idea, but I guess what I'm getting at is a mirror of season 4, where we saw young kids becoming hoppers and corner boys, only from this season we'd see it from opposite sides of the law, how young kids become police officers. What reason did guys like Officer Walker and Caliccio have to become police officers? And finally, one idea I had, not really fully serious here, but imagine if things went really meta and full circle, and The Wire took a look at a movie or TV series crew who were on the streets of Baltimore interviewing people in the game, getting some of them as consultants and even actors on their new show, much like how David Simon and Ed Burns are former reporters and police officers respectively, perhaps Gus from The Baltimore Sun and Jimmy McNulty get together and start a show called The Wire. So what would you have liked season 6 of The Wire to have been about if there had been one? What did you think of my ideas? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.